Joining me is Edgar Street as Hereford's assistant manager, Steve Burr. Reflections on that game overall today? A uh, very disappointing first half um, and um, a little bit better second half, but the game was uh, over at half time and um, we just never got to grips with their play in the first half. We started off okay, but I mean, at the moment, we're just not, um, we're just it's too flaky all around the park at the minute. and. Um, you know, obviously we need to work on a lot of things, but um, very, very disappointed today that we've uh, not got our first win of the season in front of our fans. I mean, Glenn uh, Taylor up front, he's a threat up there and he, he took his goal as well, didn't he? He did, yeah, and he'll be in and around the top goal scorers at the end of the season. Because he's, a, he's, a, he's a good player at this level, So, uh, but we just didn't deal with that at all. Relentless pressure, I thought, felt from Hereford in the second half without that cutting edge. Well, it, if you look at probably the three games that we've played here, um, we've just lacked that uh, bit of nouns. But you need it at both ends of the park. You know, you've got to, you know, at the moment we're struggling to score goals, but we're conceding easily. And, uh, and that's a disappointment. What's the situation with Christian Pierce? Because I see him here on the pitch before the game. Why, why wasn't he able to play? Uh, I'm not sure actually why he couldn't play. There's some administration error with it. So, um, or, or maybe not an admission, in, admit, uh, administration error. There is some problem with obviously Christian at the moment. But um, we're speaking to the FA uh, and the PFA about it. But um, we thought, you know, we, we, we'd geared up for him playing today. And then um, we're told on Friday that uh, he, he wasn't allowed to play. Well, how much frustration is there for that? Because you, as you quite <laughs> rightly say, in the lead up to the game, the training sessions are, I saw on Thursday, all geared up for, yeah. for him to be playing in the back four. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's it's out, it's out of our hands a little bit, and um, and hopefully uh, he'll be available for the next game. But um, it, it's really very disappointing. Because I, I would say that made a little bit of a difference at, at the back, because he might have been tighter, touch tight to the likes of Taylor and Ramshaw. Well, I think it, you know it goes without saying, Keith, that you know uh, we lost Jamie Grimes obviously in the summer, and and we've just not replaced that hole yet. But you know you want the people who are, are picked to come in and and and, and do a, and do a job and go. You know that shirt's going to be mine, and um, we just struggled in that area at the moment. And, and it's collectively, you know, I'm not pointing the fingers at any one individual. It's collectively as a team. We defend as a team. Uh, and we attack as a team, and, and at the moment we're just not firing at all. I thought there were a couple of positives out there. Obviously, the trickery of Zeddy Ishmael. I mean, Very good. He, he earned good applause from the fans today. Yeah, and deservedly so. You know, he kept going, and um, it was always it always looked like something was going to happen when he was on the ball. But I, I thought he I thought he did I thought out of the first half he was probably the, the brightest player for us in the first half um, because I just thought we were we were poor first half today, um, and the goals that we conceding are. Are, are, we're gifting goals to teams at the minute, and um, and we're having to work our socks off to score goals and create things, and uh, and obviously that's something we've got to look at. Do you think it's a case where you're not cutthroat enough, and to, when you get up to the edge of the penalty area, it just seems to slow down and become a bit more too methodical? I think sometimes we may be trying to overplay it instead of somebody having a go. Um, I mean, like you say, we, we we did have a go today in the second half, but. You know, football's about 90 minutes, and um, and you saw how well they defended in the second half. You know, big Curtis at the back. You know, he'll, he'll need a he'll need a ice ice bucket on his head tonight because he's headed everything, hasn't he? But um, you've got to be like that for for most of the game. You know, and and switching off at times. And you've seen the mistakes that we've made leading up already this season, and we've got to cut those out. It's early doors, but obviously it doesn't get easier. A big fortnight coming up mm. for Hereford. York City away at the new community stadium next Saturday, and then the FA Cup. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, the games come thick and fast, but um, it's it's not the start that we wanted by any means. And uh, you know, we're, we're disappointed because we know how much the fans get behind the team here, and they they're obviously going to be disappointed. And, and you know, you get you, you, you will take the flak for that, but. We're still working on things, you know. It's not been the best preparations, and it's not an excuse during the during the summer. Um, but it is what it is, and we've just got to try and obviously turn the results around on the park now and and start getting some wins under our belts. Who's the designated penalty taker? Because Hereford need one. Well, we certainly do. Joey Butler missed one, didn't he? And um, and Ryan stepped up today uh, and, and missed. And um, 
is that the way it's going for us at the minute? But if you're stepping up to, I mean, I took penalties when I played, and you know, I couldn't wait to smash it in the back of the net. And and I'm sure that both Joey when he was here and Ryan, they've not stepped up to miss that penalty. But um, it, I, I did feel that maybe if we'd have scored, you never know. With those last maybe five minutes, we might have just got something. But I think we would, we'd be clutching at straws a little bit there. It's a bit about not snatching at chances really, and just being bright in there. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dan Smith's been on the end of a few today. Um, and, and probably could have maybe had a couple in the second half, but it, ifs and buts. And um, at the moment, you know, uh, we'll keep working as we do during the during the week to to get the right results for Saturday. But at the moment, it's 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 very disappointing. Thanks for your time.